Scotland queuing up just inside the penalty area. Northern Ireland going for the two-man wall. Just over 10 minutes until the interval. Smith standing over the dead ball. Bowie is the player who's got the glancing touch, which puts Scotland in front. Met well, able to hold off his marker and direct the header beyond Dermot Mee to put Scotland in front. Yeah, we'll have a look at this back here to see who was tracking that run. There's plenty of bodies around it, but no one in green managing to get ahead on it. He was between Donnelly and Boyd Munson. Mm -hmm. He was strong enough to hold off. No appeals for Boyd, from the Boyd Munson around anyway. And, well, about the see. challenge. I wonder if, looking at this, John Schofield, I heard him trying to encourage Alfie McCalmont a moment ago, will be trying to think of more ways to bring him into play because he's been on the periphery of the game somewhat. A lot of the play hasn't really been happening down that side. Yeah, I think a lot of Northern Ireland's... Well, sorry, just <laughs> see this here because the flag stays down correctly. Duke is in behind and Duke doubles Scotland's advantage. Carved open clinically. And the substitute slotting in to add to Northern Ireland's woes here this afternoon. Yeah, straight from a turnover. I think it comes from whenever uh, Taylor gets the ball into his feet, looks to try and play off into the midfield. When possession back, again, direct. One ball down and behind. Just manages to stay on side, probably. I think it's Sam McClellan that plays him on on the far side. And slots it in them at the near post. Not somewhere that you want to be allowing the ball to go into as a goalkeeper. You want to try and cover that side and force them to go across you, but leaves a little gap there and he spots it and slots it home very coolly. A couple more changes may well be coming for Northern Ireland. You can see the bottom of your picture there, John Schofield on his honkers with a bit of paper. Maybe hoping when he looks up he doesn't see anything he doesn't like here as it's pulled back and the shot hits the inside of the post and no mistake from the rebound Josh Mulligan well his job was the easy one Scotland thought they'd scored from the initial attempt but made sure not to miss at the second time of asking as they now extend it to a three goal lead against Northern Ireland and that's one of the two that we Expected to probably have a say at some point. Both of them actually, Conway and then Mulligan, as you say, has the easy tap in. But Conway just finding himself in, in space. Devlin. Was denied the pass and Johnston was... Barged over. I think he's done very well, hasn't he, since coming on? He has, yeah. Um, he's, he's done really well. Looked to inject a bit of pace into the game. And Parr, I suppose, did come down that side. Well, there is the goal for Northern Ireland. Chris McKee meeting the cross from a Causland. The substitutes combining. And a good finish from the young forward to pull a goal back. That's it, taking, taking someone on 1v1, getting the cross in. It's probably what Northern Ireland haven't done enough of in this half. Four goals here at Blanche Flower Stadium, but it's Scotland smiling at the conclusion of play.